So I was getting ready to cast some copper in a, this simple uh, sand mold that I made, this open sand mold. Uh, I really don't know a lot about this. I'm just kind of winging this as well. And, uh, you know, and I, I do appreciate all of the advice I get in the uh, comment section. Really, a lot of people have uh, so much experience. It's probably wise for me to listen. But uh, just for the time being, I'm just kind of just uh, seeing what I can do. So basically, this is really simple, just a wood box and uh, just wet sand and then I have that that's a piece of styrofoam that's in the shape of a ring about the size of a ring that maybe my wife could use so I was imagining that I'll heat the copper in the uh, crucible I made last time and then pour it in and uh, just see what happens it's basically a trial run to be honest so I was heating up the uh, copper in the crucible and then you know just checking on it and when I pulled it out the whole bottom smashed apart so lucky, luckily that the copper wasn't yet completely melted. So, oops, still kind of hot. So, yeah, so that's gone. No good. You know, you can see it's it's really cr crumbly now. Oh, <laughs> there you go. So, yeah, uh, I don't want to say it was a failure because it worked once, but yeah, it was a failure. <laughs> so, so back on to uh, other things. I still want to uh, cast this ring, uh, you know, like I said, just as a trial run. And so I went and I got this. This is uh, ceramic clay. Okay, I'm in this arts and crafts store here. And these are different kinds of clay. So I'll just I'll get one or two of these and then uh, see if that'll work. Don't ask me why I seem obsessed to use crushed up fryer brick in every mixture I'm doing here. I don't know, it just, uh, just feels like something I should do. Uh, you know, at this time I'm really uh, grinding this into a really fine powder as per uh, one gentleman's recommendation in the comments. And so then, I'll uh, somehow, I'll add that to this uh, ceramic clay. So let's open that and just kind of get a look-see at what, uh, feel what this is like. It's pretty soft because the weather is really hot. So, oh another piece of plastic here just work that around <clears throat> get all of that fire brick powder mixed in good with this clay so I, I did add a dash of water to this and that really helped that really picked up the uh, the fine powder there, the fire brick powder, and and uh, mix that all into one, and then it's made this, you know, very workable now. Okay, I think I'll call that good. I'll let it dry overnight. And then fire it in the forge tomorrow. This thing is weird. It's snap, crackle, and popping on me over here. Look at that. Dangerous. I think there's too much moisture in it. So I put it in one more time, and it completely exploded. Kids, don't do this at home. Okay, so uh, this is take who knows how many. So what I've done now is very simply, I've just uh, formed just clay around a, a small plastic cup. And before I put, uh, before I did that, I just put a little bit of this oil that I have. This is uh, sewing machine oil on the cup, and that seems to make it so that it won't stick. So I'll, uh, well, I'll let it dry a little bit, and then I'm going to pull that out. I'll cut that a little bit and then pull it out. So here we go again. I, uh, you know, it's not that I'm stubborn or anything like that. It's just I like fooling around and experimenting with this stuff. But I, I have to say, I'm really flabbergasted by all of the good comments and all of the, the good suggestions that people have and, and I do take those, I will take those and use them but uh, you know at, at first I just like I said I always like to just fool around and experiment a bit so I, I know this is getting long winded and you know maybe I could just go and buy a simple crucible like someone co commented it's not that big of a deal save myself a lot of time but again like I said I'm just trying to experiment and maybe hopefully you can glean something from my from my failures. So uh, we'll see if we'll fire this one tomorrow, let it dry, fire it tomorrow, see if we can't uh, pour some copper into that, into that uh, ring mold.
So this crucible, when I put it into the, uh, the forge to fire, it also did the snap, crackle, and pop thing. And, uh, and so I realize now that it has nothing to do with the fire brick powder, but it's just that there was too much moisture in, within this clay. And then the thermal shock of being put into such a high heat uh, caused that to steam to explode and to, uh, and, and then to take off pieces of the, uh, of the crucible. So what I did was then is just place it on top of my forge for a few hours while I was hammering, and that seems to have cured it pretty well. And it's, you know, it developed just some small cracks. It's probably dangerous, probably shouldn't use it, but you know, I've, I've gone this far in this, so I'm, I just want to do a test run pour. So I'm going to uh, fill this with some copper, throw it in the forge, and hopefully I'll get one successful pour out of this crucible. just not, uh, I don't know why, it's not flowing properly. You can see that it's even not that, it becomes instantly solid once you pull it out. So, and this crucible is definitely at the end of its life here, so time to abandon this, this plan. This is it. This is the final, the final go at this. What I, what I was thinking is, I'm going to uh, just uh, form the ring shape in a piece of clay, and then put the copper inside of that ring shape, put it in the forge, and form it in that way. So basically, just take a lump like this, you know, and, and the knowledge that I've gained from uh, from all of these failed crucibles has really helped a lot. I'll know how to dry this better. So basically, you know, I've got this uh, uh, washer that's similar to the size of, of the ring that I want. So I'm just putting that in the center and then I'll depress it down enough where I think it's thick enough. Okay, Maybe a little more. Okay, and then lift it out. I apologize for all of the road traffic, just nothing I can do about that though. And there we go and then I'll, I'll refine that a little bit right in there fill that back in but basically that's that that's the my form I'll get that cured fire that slowly to drive out the moisture I'll put my copper inside of here throw it in the forge when it melts pull it out done I decided to heat this slowly at first so I just put it in the toaster oven hopefully my wife doesn't see this video and then I transferred it to the top of my forge for a couple of hours. Then I put the piece in the forge and fired it until it was all glowing orange and then shut the forge off and I'm letting it cool now. Okay, so this is cool now. Uh, it's got one little fine crack here, but I think for this one-off use it'll just be fine. Shouldn't be a problem. So what I've done is I've, I've hacksawed copper and also some brass and I've got those granules here and I'll fill that in and get it into my forge and see see what happens and I figured you know why copper and brass well why not I figured I just mix them up and I also have an idea if this works to do something with uh, with non ferrous and also with uh, steel pieces inside of there so but first things first I want to uh, make this simple ring cast this simple ring so let's let's see how this goes
this is the moment of truth. You know, obviously I've left enough material, there's enough thickness so that I can file it and grind it to shape to fit properly and to give it the proper look. So, but anyway, let's see what happened. If this is success or not, this video is going to go up no matter what. Failure. Abject failure. All right, I've got two backup molds, so I'll have another, another go at this. Uh, two things that I've learned uh, throughout this process is that copper doesn't stay liquid very long. It tends to, glo uh, to glob up and also that it seems easier to melt larger pieces. So I'll, I'll keep that in mind and see if I can't make this a, a success. So I came across this piece that I made, this uh, candle cup holder a few videos back and it just seems to me like this should be pretty good for, uh, for melting this copper this glob of copper that I have now. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get this in there, heat it up, add a little bit of flux, and then I'm gonna to try to pour it into this mold. The way that that vessel is shaped is giving me like a little bit of a view in there without having to pull it out, which is pretty good. I can see it's really becoming liquid right now. So obviously I poured out too much of this copper, but uh, this uh, steel vessel worked really well. But the thing why I was kind of hesitant to use this is because, well number one, it's not a crucible, and even though it functioned pretty well as one, but because I was afraid of scale from that uh, getting into the mix. But you know, I couldn't even skim off the top of this, so you know, there'd probably be some impurities within that, uh, you know, we'll, we'll find out. Well, let's see what we've got. Hey. <laughs> Gonna take a whole lot of cleaning up, but it's definitely a ring. That that second pour I did was uh, a little foolish, but I just wanted to continue to pour what I had left there. Clay is not even hard. I really rushed this one. I didn't even let it dry overnight. Definitely, this one go was, a, you know, a, a limited success, and gives me uh, encouragement to continue on. After only a few minutes of working this, it's cleaned up really nice and, and happily there are no uh, slag inclusions. I just need to clean out the inside some more, get some fine sandpaper, and uh, then I have, this has given me plenty of ideas for different designs. I was actually thinking of, of heating this up again, and then, you know, this size mandrel, this piece of steel would be perfect, get it onto that, and then I can hammer that around, and, you know, there's just a, a bunch of different things I'm thinking about that I can do now. So. Uh, and you know looking at the size I think this will be this actually will fit my wife's ring finger pretty well so yeah uh, this has a happy ending this video but the lesson learned is get a proper crucible whether that be graphite or whatever the proper material is I think that that definitely uh, makes a huge difference so yeah I appreciate you guys watching and putting up with this one uh, hope you'll stick around for more catch you guys next time